Howdy, Moz fans, and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Friday. This week, we're going to chat about how to get those first few links that every website needs to be able to compete. And many folks I know, when you get started with link building, it can seem daunting and overwhelming. So let me walk you through what is essentially a half a day of work, maybe three or four hours of work, to try these three tactics that will almost certainly get your business or your organization the first handful, say let's say 50 links, that you need to start being able to compete. Content can take you a long way, keywords can take you a long way, engagement and interaction take you a long way, but you gotta have a base of links. So let's get started here. The first one is uh, basically looking for links that will help, uh, that come from your own name, your brand name, your domain name potentially, uh, and the names of the founders or people who run your company. And essentially what you're doing is you're gonna search Google for the names in quotes. So if it, if it was me and Moz, right, you'd be searching for Rand Fishkin or Moz.com in quotes, not the domain name uh, in the URL field, right, but in the Google search bar, I'd be searching for Moz.com in quotes or Moz plus SEO. Moz also has other meanings, including the singer Morrissey, which makes for you know, confusing types of things. If you have that, you'll need to use your brand name plus some sort of signifier or identifier. It's very rare that Morrissey gets mentioned along with search engine optimization. It's very often that Moz gets mentioned along with SEO, and so I can combine those to search for them. So e any of these searches will result in a big list of tons of Google's, uh, Google results, and then I'm gonna manually check the top, let's say 50 to 100 results. And I'm trying to confirm three things. One, that they link to the right place. And if they don't, right, if, if there are mentions of Rand Fishkin that don't link to Moz, we should fix that, right? We're gonna contact those people. Uh, if you can control the anchor text and where the link location points, you can update it. For example, I can go to my LinkedIn. My LinkedIn has a link to Moz. I can update that, right? If I were at a different company or if Moz's domain name changed, for example, when it did change from SEO Moz to just Moz. Uh, and if it's missing or wrong, I find the right people, I email them, and I fix it. And as a result, I should have something like this. Every single mention in Google has a link on the page to my website, and I can get that from brand name, from domain name, and from founders and executives. That's a lot of great links. Second, sites that list your competition. So this is essentially saying we're gonna identify your top five or 10 most visible on the web competitors. And this is a process that uh, you can go through on your own to identify, well, these are the five or 10 that we see on the web very frequently for searches you know, that we wish we competed for or we see them mentioned in the press a ton, whatever it is. Step two, you're gonna search Google not for each one individually, but rather for combinations, usually two, three, or four of them all together. For example, if I were making a new whiteboard pen company, I would look for the existing ones like Pilot and Expo and Quartet and Pandaboard. I might search for Pilot and Pandaboard first. Then I might search for Pilot and Expo. Then I might search for Pandaboard and Quartet, right? And all these various combinations of these different ones, right? And then I would, step three, visit any sites that show up in the Google search results that list multiple competitors in any sort of format that's uh, like a directory structure or, or a comparison of multiple ones or a list format, right? And then in each of those cases, I would submit or I would try and contact or get in touch with whoever runs that list and say, hey, my company, my organization also belongs on here because like these other ones you've listed, we do the same thing, right? So if it's, here's whiteboard pen brands, Expo, Pandaboard, Quartet, and your site, which should now link to yoursite.com. This is a little more challenging. You won't have as high a hit rate as you will with your own brand names, but again, great way to expand your link portfolio. You can usually almost always get, you know, 20, 30 uh, different sites that are listing people in your field and get on those lists. Third one, similar to our second one, this is sites that list people or organizations in a particular field, a particular region, with particular attributes or some combination of those three, right? So they're saying here are, you know, uh, European-based uh, whiteboard pen manufacturers or European-based uh, manufacturers who were founded by women, right? And, and so you can say, aha, that's a unique attribute. 
that's a geography, and that's my field. I'm in manufacturing, I make whiteboard pens. Uh, you know, we were, our co-founder was a woman, and uh, we are in Europe, so therefore we count in all three of those, we should be on that list. And you're looking for lists like these, which might not list your competitors, but are high quality opportunities to get good links. So, first thing you need to do is list your organization's areas of operation, right? So that would be like, we are in, uh, technology, or we're in manufacturing, or software, or services, or we're a utility, or we're, we're finance tech, or whatever we are, right? And you can start from macro and go down to micro uh, at each of those levels. Then you're going to list your geography in the same format from macro to micro. You want to go, you know, as broad as continent, for example, Europe, right? Uh, down to country, region, county, city, even neighborhood. There are websites that list, you know, oh, well, these are uh, startups that are based in, you know, Ballard, Seattle, Washington, uh, in the United States, in North America. So you go, okay, I can, I can fit in there. Uh, and then you want to list your unique attributes. Were you um, founded by uh, someone whose attributes are different than normal, right? So, so uh, Moz was obviously my co-founder, was my mom, Jillian, right? So Moz is a co-founded by a woman company. Uh, are you eco-friendly, right? Maybe you buy carbon credits to offset, or maybe you have a very eco-friendly energy policy, or you uh, have committed to donating to charity like Salesforce has, or you have an all remote team, uh, or maybe you're very GLBTQIA friendly, or you have a very generous family leave policy. Whatever interesting attributes there are about you, uh, you, should, you can list those, and then you can combine them and search, in step two, search Google for uh, lists of businesses or websites or organizations that have some of these attributes in your region or with your focus. For example, uh, Washington State venture-backed companies, right? Moz is a venture-backed company, so I should, could potentially get on that list. Or the EU-based manufacturing companies started by women, and I could get on that list with my whiteboard pen company based there. Uh, and you can find lots and lots of these if you sort of take from your list, start searching Google, uh, and discover those results, and you'll use the same process you did here. You know what the great thing about all three of these is? No tools required. You don't have to pay for a single tool. You don't have to worry about domain authority. You don't have to worry about uh, any, any sort of link qualification process um, or you know, it, paying for something expensive. You can do this manually by yourself with Google as your only tool, and that, that will get you some of those first early links. If you've got additional suggestions, please leave them down in the comments. Look forward to chatting with you there. We'll see you again next week for another edition of Whiteboard Friday.